Hey kids, welcome to Styles Rumble. So this is part two of the video, and I'm posting both on the same day, so I'm not gonna have a big intro here. So this is five critiques of some junior animators jumps. The only thing I ask is do not leave anything rude or mean in the comments for these baby animators to find. They are all juniors. This is what we animate like when we're juniors, so don't be a jerk about it. And thank you to all the people who have let me do this. Would you let me do this? Would you let me? critique your animation on my channel? If so, send me the TPL of one of your Toon Boom ready characters and I will totally do that. And if I can play with the rig, I can even show you how to fix your rig. That's a thing. So don't be a jerk. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So here we have a GeoCities account from a few years ago with the black on green. <laughs> I like that you're doing your thumbnails. That is great. One recommendation I have for doing these thumbnails is give yourself a little bit of depth in the character. Boop, so a nose goes a long way. Like this is a guy looking up. This is a guy looking down. So add a nose. They are super good. <laughs> also, when you draw your body, give it a little bit of a side and then your little legs give them little knees or whatever. Um, but this is going to give you a huge amount more control over your posing because you can aim your units. If you have a circle and a rectangle, what direction is he facing? Left, right, up, down, like he's looking up, but his butt is in the front. Like you don't know, you have no idea. So uh, upgrade your stick man to this guy. It's gonna save you a lot of problems, especially if you have a long weekend. Like, you do all your posing with a stick, man, you come after a long weekend, you're like, I don't remember what way this guy's looking. Oh, dear. All right. I like that you're going for not default posing. That's cool. You're giving him a little bit of a slouch. Ew, he got, like, some uh, shaggy from Scooby-Doo stuff happening here. Yeah, get those hips involved and the legs as well, so that you're going to get... Uh, even if he is a little bit more stick straight, if you get those knees bent a little bit, you're going to get more of that shaggy, shaggy sort of stuff. You can keep pushing it too. Just... <laughs> okay, that's too far. You've gone too far. And this as well, it's, it's just not stock. And that is that is appreciated when people don't use stock. So I think this is cool. I think his, like, crazy vacant eyes are a little bit weird, but that's that's a detail problem. Um, here you've got a locked joint. I'm going to use neon green, too. <laughs> yep. So he's throwing his arms back, and this arm joint is just locked. See how the arm doesn't change position at all? It's just kind of hanging out, locked in place. That's something you're going to want to get a little follow-through. So what you could do, do is just have... This one, not as far. So have this one like this, and then have a, another frame a little bit farther away that's starting to come in. So either bring your arm in this way from out here, or yeah, I think that might be your best bet because as he's leaning forward, he reaches the maximum. So have it a little bit bent, burp, burp. Then as he moves along, it reaches maximum straightness, and then it starts to pull around the body like this. It's just you gotta get you gotta keep it moving. Everything else is moving. This has to be moving too. Unless his arm is made of like a robot arm, then it's not gonna be able to do that. It's gonna swing around, it's gonna move as well. <sighs> so here I think is the biggest bang for your buck is once you get this low pose, uh-oh, little knee, little knee slip. It's a thing that every junior does. We've all done that. So once you get your, I like that you're bringing this knee towards us. That is cool. I like that that's happening. But the shoulders are not playing in perspective. So I think if you're going to bring this arm around to get some of the arm momentum, because he's going to swing it forward, then you're going to be able to bring this shoulder forward as well. And don't be afraid to, to hide the body in an in-between. That's not a big deal. And then, boof. So we've got a lot of frames here where he's just kind of like floaty, floaty, float. Thunk. So from here, from this lowest pose, this guy, he needs to jump. So I think 
we can get rid of a bunch of these frames. Maybe we'll have one slow out. Let's just get rid of like four of them. Clear exposure and pull. I gotta put that on a hotkey. Driving me crazy. So even those legs aren't straight. If you take out four of those first frames, it's better. Like he's just, the first part of the jump has the most momentum. Whoop, straighten out those legs at first and then bring the legs along for the ride. It's, it's better. There you go. Your timing is going to be more solid. Whoop. And then work on getting those arms, like swing them around here to get the momentum. You're going to go whoop, and you're going to push up with the arms as well to get that nice big jump. Then the legs are going to come along for the ride. Those vacant eyes, though. Ugh. <laughs> and then, again, I think you can get rid of some of these frames. Oh, his butt is just attaching. Where are you going, butt? So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just going to clear them all. Clear exposure. So you are going for uh, the slow out. I think that's not a bad idea. I just think it was not in the best place. Here. So here, once he hits... He, you know, if he was up here like this, then here. So let's clear this one. So I'm just taking out every second one here as he's going down because he's he's going to be losing his momentum. And then let's just increase this one by a frame. My shift key keeps falling off. <laughs> I need a new keyboard so bad. Go back, shift key in your home this is a ratchet operation you guys <laughs> there we go so i took out some of the down ones and i doubled up on the coming up ones let's so he's down i held that an extra frame i'm actually i'm gonna hold this one an extra frame if my shift key stays where it belongs so took out some on the down and added some on the up hopefully that makes sense and could I think that's going to give you a little bit more natural timing. I like the step out and then the slide back, but it could, it, you could just slide this back. I think that would be more natural. I don't think we pick up our legs. Although those gangly legs are so awkward. I'm sorry. And even keep this foot down for like a beat. So, um, bunk, one beat. And then he slides it back once he is sure he has his balance. You can even hold this even longer. Um, you don't want to have four frame holds, but you can see if you hold him in the, like once he's hit, his feet are solid, give him an extra couple frames at the down position and then slow out. I think that's feeling a little bit. All right. My Camtasia just like decided to take a nap for some reason. So hopefully it keeps recording this time. I'm watching you, Camtasia. If you ever notice why I'm always like looking over there, it's because my face is like right there and I'm like, yeah, my face. Um, anyway, I just did this whole thing. So now I'm going to do it again. Let's see if I can remember all the brilliant talking points. I totally just didn't record. So I like that we start off and end in a pose that is not default. That is always appreciated. It just gives your character a little bit of life. Okay. So the, the overall theme I think is, is if you break up your timing a little bit, Think of all the different body parts separately. So you need to have them work together, but they also have their own little stories that they're telling along the way. I think that's really going to push your stuff. So here, I think you need a drawing between here and here because you got a big old arm swing. So here to here, your arm is theoretically going through all of these positions at some point. We're just not seeing them. So either you need a swish. Whoop. If I just put that swish in there, see how it like fills in the information that's missing, that little swish? Yeah, I do like the character's skin tone, but um, that, like if your movement's going that fast, that's going to fill in like the mind gap that you're having. But I think it would be better to put a pose in after this one maybe he's a little bit more scrunched body wise but his arms are already coming around so you're starting to get the arc on his arms so that the arms aren't going as far but the body's going even farther and that's going to break up the timing a little bit and give this jump a little bit more oomph and uh, clean up that arm arc Beep. 
the next thing is you have this huge jump, which is good. Yep. Maybe put the uh, toes there and then keep those. <laughs> That's just a little thing. Um, keeping those arcs on the toes, the little pointy toes and stuff is going to be, uh, it's going to up your, up your thing. But my, the more important thing, <laughs> see, I just did this. So now I'm crazy person. Um, so here, let's talk about this momentum. So your body is starting here, going to here. So we've got a full body length of movement going on this first frame. And then he goes that much. So he loses all his momentum in one frame to the next. Then he actually gains a little bit of momentum. So I guess that's the, like the knee kick thing, which is fine if it looks good. And then here, here, and then way over here. So if you have this great big jump, let's just clear out these ones. Cause this I think is the most important part. These, if you're going a full, torso length just think of your bouncing ball your ball goes from here if it goes a full ball length it might go half as far the next time so here it's one full ball then it's half a ball then it's say a quarter of a ball and then it's it's lost its momentum so it's just going the other way the same thing is going to happen in your jump so if your jump has a full torso length here then you may want to go a half torso length here and then lose your momentum. And you can also bring your bean around like that. All right, so this will give you a little bit, it, it'll just smooth out that arc. I wish I had the temp, the like TPL, because then I could, I feel like if you just like bumped him up higher in these ones, it'll just like clean that right up. Beep. And then this part here, the first part to impact is the foot. And I think about the impact traveling up the body. So in this first initial impact, the foot isn't even flat yet. His torso hasn't come around. So his torso would still be up like this. Let's see. Drawing a little bit big. So his torso would still be up. His arms would maybe even be up like this, depending on whether they're engaged or not. And then in the next frame, his the rest of his torso is going to come along for the ride. And then his arms, if they decide they want to come too. All right. So just think of it like this part's hitting first, then the next part of his body, the torso is going to come along for the ride. And then the like everything else is going to come along in a chain. Then here, we hit the wall, the dreaded wall. Here he's just gently caressing his face on this invisible wall. So another place we're just breaking that timing up. So maybe his head is here. Then the next frame, his head is here. And then it starts coming up again. So you're getting a little bit of a an arc, just an arc of the head instead of just gentle snuggles here. Cause slam! It's not really gentle, actually. It's quite it's quite abrupt. Smash! If you draw the line in, like it's 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 one of those things that you don't see it, and then you see it, and you're like, oh, why didn't I see that? Slam! <laughs> and then the wink. I think the wink feels a little bit like super creepy because he's only moving his eyelid. <laughs> this is like a real Chucky moment. I feel almost like he needs like a little curtsy. And I was doodling all these like curtsy drawings. Like, what do you like? I'm not sure how to wink in a cool way. Maybe bring this shoulder forward. Is this how winks work? I'm not a very pretty straight. I think this arm is back. So we just turn off our wink, wink. So I would just play around with just a little pose change. It doesn't need to be as drastic as actually twisting the shoulders around. Wink, wink, wink. But it's less chucky than just this like one like lazy eye doll, like doll blinky. <laughs> Creepy. Yeah, I think that's everything I said in the first time. Ugh, I hate when I do that. <laughs> Let's move on. I've been at this way too long. I thought I'd have this up early, but I'm gonna, it's gonna take me forever to edit this. <laughs> a flip! We got a crazy flip, you guys. Who? Yep. 
All right, so this is real ambitious. I like that. He's very stiff. I think that's that's really my biggest. The the hair. I don't think the hair is justified here because his head isn't really moving. Um, the hair should only really fluff around when there's enough momentum to justify it. Those are the key words of the day, kids. It's justification, contrast. I don't remember what else they said. It's getting pretty late. <laughs> I, I wake up at 6 a.m., so I'm like, I don't... <laughs> I usually go to bed pretty early, you guys. It's 10 o'clock and I'm zonked. Let's just talk... Let's talk about Lucy Goosey and this guy up. So... Even if you want this to be like a professional, the ears, the ears behind the arm, shouldn't do that. Um, even if you want this to be a super professional gymnast, you want to, you want to have a little bit more uh, curve and life to these poses. So your center of gravity for most humans is here. So like your chest, all those guts and important things like to rest above your feet like in the center. So if your feet, so you've got some little paddle feet like this, then right here, right in the center of those feet is where that center of gravity likes to hang out. It could be easy easy as just doing that. Okay, so let's slide that back, All right? So just having his pelvis, I'm not gonna draw a little arrow there, that's inappropriate. Uh, and then when gymnasts are getting ready maybe they and then what do they do with their hands i'd actually i'd have to look it up but i believe they do this with their hands draw hands draw hands every day draw every hands every day for 100 days and you will still hate them but it won't be as frustrating i promise <laughs> so here we've got a nice regal sort of a ready pose i like that he I like that he's he's got a very serious what is it like like the pose like I can I can feel the intention in your posing it's very like he's trying to do a, like a proper form here I like that I like that you're telling that story there um you don't want to slam your arms into that wall like this hand coming up is good but give yourself even that many degrees of arm movement keep that chest coming down so unless you're gonna like if you're gonna hold it hold it if you're going to slow out slow out all the pieces don't just pick some pieces that looks weird it like you just have this weird hingy hand i like this this arc this arc makes it pleases me i think this is a really nice thoughtful arc i like this too this is this is cool i don't actually know where that's pretty cool i kind of like does a twist um, I don't know where the weight goes in a backflip, so I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm not athletic. <laughs> Backflips are not a thing I can do. Not a thing I could ever have done. <laughs> Again, you can... Let's bring that really far down. If you just get a little bit of... Uh... Okay, so his chest is out here, but his butt is back. So I'm thinking, of, and his arms are back, so that's going to bring your center of gravity back. I think your, your hands are are telling the right story here. And I, I th I, I'd want to do some research into how these poses actually look. Like, what, what the proper form is for this stuff. It'd be a fun research project. It'd be, so, it'd be fun to do um, some gestures of some real things and like if you're going for a three-quarter front then you still want to do similar poses because i've gone straight into the side view now which might be cheating on your assignment i'm not really sure what the parameters were but you'd still want to basically just rotate the thing and uh keep the idea this one looks a lot cuter <laughs> which is weird usually side views don't work out <sighs> he's throwing all his momentum up I think your arms, like I said, I don't know how to do a backflip, so I don't have the muscle memory to get in there, but I feel like your arms, ooh, your arms in front of your nose, or behind your nose, that's not ideal. I think maybe take this frame out, because you want to go from here, like you want to, like his feet aren't off the ground, I don't know. 
There's a lot of frames where his feet are on the ground, but he's moving up. So I don't know, like maybe in real life that's what it looks like. I don't know how much uh, reference you used. There we go. Yeah, I think taking out two frames there huh, gives it a little bit more punch. And if you are working from reference, remember that the frame rate could be different. We have very few frames compared to live action in animation. We only have 24. They can have 30 or 60 or however many. So yeah, taking out two frames in that early part of the jump, I feel like gives it a little bit of punch. I think this is like you're posing in here. Um, it's moving so fast that I think like you can get away with all that stuff. Um, you could get a little bit more movement in the arms. But like, it's so fat, you can't see it, so who cares? <laughs> Maybe just get a little bit more tuck. So uh, he's saying about an even amount of tuckness. So um, here, from here to here, like maybe start tucking him in. So bring those knees in a little bit sooner so that they match up here a little bit. And here he just kind of like lowers to the ground. Let's just take that frame out too. It's just gentle. Uh, boop. Yeah, this is feeling more punchy. So I just took out three frames. Boink. And I feel like that's getting a little bit more punch. And flip. Christy Cunningham. I like it. Yeah, if you just like pop out three frames and just tighten up a few little nitpicky bits. Feeling pretty cool. Pretty cool. So this guy's doing a hop, but he's getting jump magic. I think there's some fun pieces. Hmm. His legs are growing. See how his legs are getting longer? So we... Oh. <laughs> uh, so let's copy paste. And make No, you won't be able to see it. Um, so you can see he's growing by that much. It is It is some, some weird bone growth. Weep. So you want to bring, as you bring these knees, you want to bring him more in this area. All right, so this, from here to here, he's not actually pushing off. So there needs to be something between here and here. So here's his feet. Let's just draw, actually, let's just draw a little dude here. I would have a frame in here where he's pushing off. And if he's going that far, he needs to really dig deep, so he's probably gonna need like a real crazy like frame like this that then goes into a big push off like that with like full arms and everything. Um, but there needs to be some kind of motion of the character that's pushing him off the ground, otherwise he's just flying out of the, the off the ground. Do do do. Get those arms swinging around a little bit. See, this this is a nice pose for it going into the landing. It needs one of those back here. So this pose here, you need a mirror pose here. So straighten this guy out. Give him some real, real push power. And this is a place where I feel like this floof is justified in its, its velocity because he's really got a big jump going. So his hair is going to come in for landing separately. It's a little bit hingy here, so I wouldn't have it like slowly rotate like that because it just, it looks a little bit hingy. So maybe from here, just play around with the timing a little bit, put in fewer frames, and then you can have a, like a very slow out from uh, here, have it settle in like that, um, just so it doesn't look so rotatey. You don't just have to rotate everything. You can skew, you can squish, you can add a deformer in there and that'd give you some fun opportunities. And here's another place where pelvis, pelvis, and then the pelvis stops. So you're you're gonna wanna continue on and then bring it up. So get those arcs in there where you can have the, like the hair is overshooting, but the whole body should be because you're just slammed into the ground and then he, he stays stock still while his hair moves around. Those arms are gonna come in and settle a little bit. He's gonna keep moving in this direction a little bit. Just keep that, keep that body alive and then bring it up. Yep. All right, so here we have a bear trap. I like that year. You've got a little bit of a story. And he's looking at it. He doesn't have those like weird eyes that just stare off into the middle distance. Um, this is a dictionary case of what we call floaty animation. 
Um, everything's very gentle. Your art, like things are just flowy, but it's, it's, if everything is flowy, nothing is flowy. Like you got to have that contrast in there. So, uh, what I like to, for, for something like a jump, unless it's a ballerina, I like to go for more punchy animation. Let's see where we can punch this up. So here he's got, uh, ooh, we got some places where we can really nail some nice poses here. So here I want you actually a lot of a lot of you so i've mentioned life drawing this is this is where this is going to come in handy all of you guys need to get some shoulders shoulders are real hard um and i want you to get some practice in so if you're slouching like this your shoulders are gonna fall like that and so there's this he's looking down yeah this looks more slouchy than that. It's just because it's it's you're getting that. Whenever you can get that like nice shoulder, it always looks so nice. I like that. I like that in a shoulder, and like it just feels so slouchy. Um, because you've got some weird Quasimodo shoulders going. Like this one is much bigger than this one. Um, your neck, your neck is kind of slumped down into the chest, like. I think your neck hole should be up here. So don't be afraid. Your your head can go right down there over the front of the neck. So don't don't push the neck down. Just bring the head down. That's fine. Head can go down there. So I think it's um, like if you decide, okay, I'm going to get a nice antic up. Keep the keep this in the middle. You see if I draw that like his his neck is just kind of going on a little field trip around his body. Um, so make sure to keep that neck centered in his little torso pod here. So the slow antic up, I don't think that's a bad thing. You're like, okay, I'm going to go slow and then fast. Because then you're going to get your contrast. So having a nice slow start, not a bad thing. Then you got a, a little bit of a quicker down here. So let's just start pulling out keys. I think you just have too many down. So let's see. So like a bunch of those. Let's see. Let's make these bigger. Boop. 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 Sorry, I'm just going to get rid of this one. I'll fix the exposure in a second. We, we got two of those. This is probably on twos, and I'm just, uh, like I said, I might have added or dropped some frames as I was switching around. And then here, okay, here we've got some slow, 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 and then there's a big tick. Tick, tick. Um, it just got a little bit uh, uneven there. So let's just mink, mink, mink. I'm just going to take out all, like all those. And then I'm going to leave in this stuff. So he's going slow. No, maybe I'm going to take out some. <laughs> There's just so many. I'm going to change that hotkey. Clear exposure and pull does not have a hotkey. So I'm going to add one because it needs a hotkey. Let's try something. Control plus. Sure, that works. My hand is right there. So control plus is now my new hotkey. Because, ugh, that... That needs to go faster. And then we've got some weird hand flip, 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 flip. Just the hands moving. We don't want that. Let's get rid of those. <laughs> He's so squat here. I love this pose. He's just, it's so graphic how you just snapped his back. I like this. This looks really cool. This is some, some cool style. I like 100% on that pose. Love it. Snap. So then he's slowing out again. See, everything is just, there's just too many frames. Just get rid of half of them. This is going to be aces for sure. So we get rid of this one. Nice. Float, float, float. Whoa, that's not okay. Let's get rid of that one. We're never going to talk about that one again. So there's some weird, crazy stuff happening here where his body's just exploding. That's something uh, similar to, I think, the first person stuff I went over where you really need to nail down those keys and once those are really nailed down you can steal their goodness for other things I'm getting rid of that one I'm just going to take out half of the ones that are here another one he can hang out up here a little second a little second and then we're just going to start getting rid of like half of these keys as well nope 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 there's just too many that's really all there is. I mean, your movement, uh, you've got some some hinky problems with uh, a little bit of anatomy here. 
but I don't think that... Oh, that shoulder is not a happy camper. Ooh, so let's say he... Oof, hold down here. I think that's all right. This this movement is real awkward. I'm just going to take that one out because it's awkward. This one is also awkward. And then as he comes up, I'm going to have him coming up a little bit faster and then slow out again up here once he gets there. All right, so I don't know how many how many frames I just took out. I took out at least 24 frames. So let's just see. See how it's already just by taking out frames, um, this up part and the down part, it's not as floaty. Boonk, boonk. We can even take out more. And and at this point, I would save a new version of your scene and then just take out a lot of frames and see how that feels. And then take out more frames and see how that feels. And just experiment on how many frames you actually need to give yourself the motions that you're trying to achieve. So I'm gonna take out a couple more here to get them up faster. Take out this one. So I took out another seven frames. So this is 30 frames. Just, just tossed out 30 frames. Better. You just got too many, that's all. <laughs> you're working too hard. That's where you need to, where you, what you really gotta focus on. If you get those keys working really well, those five main starter keys, then you just pace them out on your timeline. You should be able to start to see whether or not your timing is working. Just with those five frames. Then everything in between is about highlighting the movement, getting nice arcs, getting the follow through, secondary action, stuff like that. Boonk. Like this is a really fun jump. You bang out that anatomy and just chop out half the frames. Like it's fine. <laughs> just stop working so hard. Whee. Oop. I like think this is, this is the best frame. I love this like back snapper, the back snapper. That's what I'm gonna call that. You can even take out a bunch of those. Let's just take out like that many. See, just to see what's gonna happen. If you don't like it, undo. Yeah, that seems fine. We just took out six frames that were right next to each other and it's fine. <laughs> This isn't fragile. I think that's one thing that baby animators do is that they think that this is really fragile and they're worried they're gonna break it. But this is really the time when you're learning that you wanna just smash stuff. You wanna rip this character apart, see how it's put back together. You wanna just take out chunks of frames, see how that works, add in frames, see how that works. The important thing is that you're really exploring and not letting the worry keep you from getting into like bananas land. So I think this video is like five hours long. <laughs> I'm going to try and edit down. I might have to put it in two, two videos, but I really want to thank everybody. But I really want to thank all of you at uh, Academy of Art University for letting me uh, dissect your jump videos. I think like, I love it. It's super fun. You guys have the funniest stuff. Um, I laughed out loud at a lot of these when I just, just started watching. Um, remember that animation is super fun, okay? <laughs> That's one thing people forget, especially when you're stressed out and you're in school and stuff. Flip! Yeah. See, that's fine. It's gonna back to frame one. Start frame one. All right, so thanks everyone at Academy of Art University for letting me dissect all your poses. Um, I was going pretty fast, so hopefully nobody feels bad. <laughs> hopefully I didn't make anybody feel bad. We all go through these stages where we're learning early on and there's so much stuff to keep track of and so much stuff to remember. Like, um, we've all been there and a lot of the stuff that I'm seeing is very standard for baby animators. We're seeing uh, just like misplaced joints and uh, wandering proportions, things like that. We're seeing floatiness, which is very common. Um, this is this is all pretty standard stuff. So don't feel like. So I don't want any of you to feel like this is this is really scary. 
So just keep on keep just so just keep on keeping on, keep on doing it, keep on practicing, get in your life drawing, practice your posing. All the stuff is going to come together and the little things like keeping all your joints secure, stuff like that, getting this leveling stuff under control, that's going to come with time, but really right now just focus on posing, timing and having fun. Like because if you're having fun, then the people watching your demo reel is going to have fun too. All right. So I'm going to post the information down below for the Instagrams of these wonderful baby animators. And I want you to be super kind and loving to the animation community in general. It doesn't matter who they are or I will fight you. <laughs> and also I'm going to link... Uh, I'll link you to the Academy of Art University webpage just so you can uh, take a look at who they are. Like I said, if I don't know much about the school, so if you have any comments or uh, reviews, I post them down below so other people can see them. If you're going to animation school, post down below. Let us know. If you like this video, let me know. If you got to the end, let me know. <laughs> Oh, I gotta go to bed. Like, share, subscribe, all those things internet people ask you to do, and I will see you in the next video. And that's it, the conclusion of my 10 critiques of these beautiful baby animator stuff. Thank you again to the students at Academy of Art University in San Francisco, to Daisy Church for reaching out and setting up this whole thing. Super fun. I would love to do more of this stuff, so if you'd like to see me critique your animation of blue, or if you have a character rig, of your own or something like that. This would be fun to do again. Let me know. Contact me. I'm like holding my camera because it's a wretched operation. That's it. Let me know if you like this kind of thing, if we could use more of this in the future, or which videos you're really anticipating that there's like part two, but there's no part three. And you're like, Tracy, you never finished your series. You're the worst. And I'm like, yep. Yeah. So bye. <laughs> like, share, subscribe, all those things that people ask you to do. And I'll see you in the next video episode. Bye!